So I've been hearing a lot about glycerin and how it's a bad ingredient in our toothpaste that should be avoided at all costs. The question is, is there any truth to these claims? All right guys, before I get started, real quick, I will be doing a giveaway at the end of this video, so make sure to stick around to the end. I'll be giving you guys instructions on how to enter to win, as well as telling you guys what the giveaway prize is this month. Okay, first things first, what is glycerin? So glycerin is a clear liquid substance or compound, whatever you want to call it, that is derived either synthetically or from vegetable oil. A side note, you should avoid synthetically derived glycerin because it tends to be contaminated with other harmful chemicals, so best to just go with the vegetable glycerin. Generally, glycerin is used to keep products moist. Hydrated. Sorry, guys. How many of you did I just traumatize? Comment below if you guys have a problem with the M word. Anyway, so glycerin is used to keep products hydrated, and one of the products that you'll find glycerin in is actually toothpaste, or traditional toothpaste, I should say. Now, recently there has been some pushback about glycerin in toothpaste. People have been saying that it's actually coating the teeth and not allowing the rest of the ingredients to actually get to the teeth and do their marvelous work. So naturally, I started doing some digging and here's what I found. So there are a few websites that make this claim that glycerin should be avoided because it keeps all the other ingredients from actually helping your teeth, you know, remineralize and stuff like that. So all of these websites that I found actually point back to one article or one little snippet of information that was published by a certain Dr. Gerard Judd. He has a PhD in chemistry, but all of these dental websites that made this claim were pointing to this article. So I found the article. Weirdly enough, it's actually located on some weird like goat milk product website. I'm not sure how it got there. But anyway, he has this long article about how glycerin is bad for the teeth and all the harmful effects of fluoride. And he says that all of this is explained better in his book, Good Teeth, Birth to Death. And so naturally I was like, well, I want to get to the source of this. And I couldn't find it anywhere. It wasn't available on Amazon. I tried to look at different websites. The website links were either broken or just not working, whatever. But finally I found it in some archives or something like that. I'll see if I can leave a link uh, below. But I finally found the book, Good Teeth, Birth to Death. It's not a very long book. I actually read it all myself and I actually read it twice and double checked the index and glycerin was actually mentioned only once I think and it was mentioned in passing there were no actual like studies done on it or anything like that Dr. Judd just said oh oh yeah and glycerin should be avoided because it's bad something along those lines the rest of the book went into depth about fluoride and the harmful effects of it that's for another video but in this video in terms of glycerin unfortunately I just could not find any substantial evidence showing how glycerin affects teeth or how it interferes with other ingredients in toothpaste. Basically, I couldn't find substantial information to support this claim that glycerin in toothpaste is bad. The one thing I can tell you guys for sure, like 100%, is I've been using toothpaste containing glycerin for, I mean, a couple of decades at this point. I don't have any cavities. I don't have periodontal disease. My teeth are fine. Based off of that, I can conclude one of two things. Either glycerin does not have any counter effects to all the other ingredients in toothpaste and my toothpaste worked just fine, which would explain why my teeth are perfectly healthy, or glycerin is bad and it's not allowing the toothpaste, all the other ingredients to do their work. But despite that, my oral health is perfectly fine because I brush and floss properly. So really, the toothpaste you use doesn't even matter as much as your brushing habits and flossing habits how well you brush, how well you floss, how often you do it, etc. So that's all I have for you guys in terms of glycerin. Of course, I'll keep my eyes peeled and my ears wide open for any new information that comes in. Bottom line, I'm really not too worried about glycerin being in my toothpaste. That being said, let's move on to the giveaway. So this month, I will be giving away some of my favorite dental products, one of which is actually some toothpaste that does contain glycerin. In light of today's topic, I will also include some glycerin-free toothpaste for the winner to try. Spoiler alert, this glycerin-free toothpaste is probably gonna be some form of toothpaste tablets because, again, remember, glycerin keeps things hydrated. Without glycerin, you're left with kind of chalky, powdery stuff, so the only way to go is tablets. But anyway, if you guys want to enter this giveaway, 
Number one, you gotta live in the United States. This is coming out of my own budget, so I can only ship in the US at this time. Number two, subscribe to my channel. And three, comment below this video and include this emoji in your comment just so I know that you actually want to enter the giveaway and you're not just commenting on something else or if you're just trolling or whatever. And then lastly, check back on my channel on this date and time to see if you won. Hopefully this video helped clarify some things. If you guys are still confused or if you have more questions, feel free to comment them below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care of your teeth. We'll